In about 1850, Samson Schiff, my great-great-great-grandfather, left Mannheim and came here to make a fresh fortune out of the difficulties of Mannheim in the 1848 years of revolution. His wife had also died, leaving him with a baby son, Guglielm or Wilhelm, whose sculpture was seen in the museum. He remarried and moved here. He had a younger brother, ten years uh, older brother, sorry, ten years older than himself, who was in Trieste, trading and married into a good family. But Samson was a silversmith, and it was here that he opened his silversmith shop in Via San Sebastiano, next to Piazza Cavana, and that was the building of the new fortune. He didn't stay long, he planned to stay here forever, but in practice about five or six years later, he removed with his family, after one daughter had sadly died and was buried here, he removed to Milan, where he continued to build up his reputation in his career as a silversmith. He had, I used to think he only had one child, I found out only a few months ago, he had about, I think it was eight children, and no doubt numerous descendants have yet to find out about. But here in Trieste he made a name, his work is shown in the museums, in the cathedral, not in the cathedral, but in the Catholic churches, and also we've got it in the, uh, the homes of the rich. That was how he did it, in a place where he was welcome and free. In, back in Mannheim, in the ba Baden-Württemberg he was, there'd been a, a reimposition of the uh, old restrictions, the freedoms of Napoleon were removed. So here in Austria, but only in Trieste, people were free to develop and grow. Did he do work for the synagogue here? There's plenty of work still in the synagogue and in the synagogue museum made by him. Uh, one of them is not very special, it's like a breastplate of a Torah scroll, but he also made beautiful crowns that decorate the Torah scroll and the rim and in the deck, the finials that go on top of the Torah scrolls. But that's beautiful work that he did, but also very, his work for the Christian churches is far more fanciful and exciting with saints and angels and very Victorian and uh, ornate work.